Hi everybody, welcome to The Art of Comics. I'm your host, Andre Salazar. Today we're going to talk about the film Peanut Butter Falcon. Hey guys, I just got back from watching Peanut Butter Falcon over at the Arclight Cinemas in Hollywood today, and I just wanted to share with you my thoughts about the film. Um, when I saw the trailer, I immediately said, I gotta see this movie as soon as possible. This looked my type of film. Uh, I grew up in Little Rock, Arkansas, so I have um, love for the South. And so when I saw this film that had pro wrestling in the South and all these kind of elements, uh, I was like, okay, I gotta go see this film. I gotta see what this is about. And uh, it was pretty good. I say it was good. It wasn't great, it was good. And let's talk a little bit about that. Um, the film is basically this road trip story. Uh, it does have a lot of kind of, it is a little bit of Mark Twain. Uh, there's some river boat, uh, or excuse me, river raft kind of down the, down the river. It is, um, it's about this, this kind of, um, down on his luck bayou type of, um, crab fisherman and how he gets, uh, mixed up with a runaway down syndrome, uh, warden of the state and how they kind of have this little adventure and, the uh, Down Syndrome uh, guy wants to go and become a pro wrestler. So he's gonna go find um, the saltwater redneck wrestler and go to his wrestling school. And so it had all these elements that I was really, uh, I'm really fond of. You know, I love pro wrestling and um, I love the South and I love that kind of, that chicken fried steak kind of feel of things. And so I definitely wanted to see the film. I think that, um, the sound, the music, the the feeling, the themes, that was all good. The acting is top notch. Uh, Shia LaBeouf, who is the lead in this film, uh, is really good. And if you're not on the Shia, Shia LaBeouf train, you need to be, because um, he's great. He really is great. And I really thought he just uh, did a wonderful performance. I think the supporting cast were, were good. There is a cameo of um of Mick Foley uh Jake the Snake is in it a little bit as well which is kind of fun for those wrestling fans um but it's really not about the wrestling so don't let the trailer kind of fool you a bit on that the wrestling is just going to happen at the very end it's really about this trip right and my only really complaint would be that the plot and the kind of the story um is it, it's a feel-good film. It, it doesn't have a lot of twists and turns, which is good, which is fine. Um, but I'm not putting it over the edge because it's a little mundane in that way. And I'm not saying you gotta move the stakes up. I'm not saying people have to, you know, there is some stakes, there are people that are after them, there is some of that. But it's, um, it's it just didn't grab me as much as I wanted it to. What's nice about it is that it is, a, more of a light-hearted film. So it is a, you know, got a bit of Lost Boys. Again, I keep mentioning kind of, you know, Huckleberry Finn, those kind of things. It's got that road trip story of these, these you know, this um, odd couple, you know, of, of guys that don't like each other, but he winds up taking him under his wing, and it's like a big brother, little brother kind of story. And, and so I like that. Um, and most films would, you know, in this kind of instance, really go serious and dark and grim and show the horrible life of being, you know, of having Down syndrome and having uh, all these bad things happen. But it doesn't do that. It's very light in that regard. And for some reason, maybe I'm docking at some points because of that. I'm not sure. Um, it just didn't grab me, the, the story. It felt a little... Um, predictable and I think and that would be my only criticism it just it felt a little bit predictable and that's okay I just um, it didn't like just grab me by the throat you know it's not like Blue Ruin or um, you know some of these films that really just grab you it's definitely more like a little Miss Sunshine type of film has that indie flavor to it Again, great acting. The music is really good. The soundtrack is great. Um, you know, it's got that not as good as like Oh Brother Why Art Thou, but it's like, you know, a step or two below that soundtrack wise. 
pretty good stuff. I would definitely want to like seek that out. Um, good film. There you go. Quick little review. If you like the South, if you like a road trip, feel good movie, you know, if pro wrestling's kind of your thing, I would say go see it. Um, if you want something that's more visceral or more real or that will make you cry, this is not it. Um, there is a little bit of a twist at the end, which I thought was unnecessary. You're not fooling nobody, so why bother? I thought that was a little little bit of a silly thing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's good. It's good. Not wonderful. There you go. Quick review. Every now and then... You know, I talk, I talk about comics, but every now and then I'm going to like talk about some films, things like that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, click the subscribe button so you can find out all my next videos that are coming up. You'll be notified of them. And uh, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.